Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here with another reaction review, this time for Zenkaiser Episode 7, which is titled The Underworld Prince is Short Fused. And yeah, catching up, chipping away at these episodes. Um, after watching this episode, I'm only two episodes behind, so we will be good to go for Episode 10 this weekend. Or, well, Episode 10 will air, depending on when this goes live, over the weekend that just passed, because I'll probably have this go live on Monday. So, yeah, let's uh, jump right into this, and let's get some reactions going. Carlitos. Oh, nice, little throwback. He's actually trading human food with Kikanoid food. Oh, hey, it's that mysterious character from the uh, trash level. What's up with their ear? They have like that weird silver corner on their ear. <laughs> I love Gaon just completely ignoring Zoran. 100%. Like, just like, nope, if you're a human, Gaon's gonna give you attention. Gikidoid, no, does not care. <laughs> He's really gonna carry the bags and the old man. That is, uh, is very on brand with his character. Not gonna lie. Oh, we finally get an explanation. There you go. Hundred <laughs> percent. He's like, oh yeah, Gown does not like kinkadoids. Ah, room with the logic, but isn't he a kinkadoid? It's like, yes. Yes, he is. Oh, yay. Jumping right into the action. I like that. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got one, too. And a purple gear? Sentai gear? Okay, okay. We're gonna get I know the the that purple gearlinger that's not from like all the merch and the magazine scans. Oh he could he could summon rangers? He just summoned Zoe Rangers. Well, this is gonna be interesting if he can have other Sentai groups fight them. Uh oh. Is he about to is he about to change? Nope. He summoned Boo Kangger? And Maja Ranger? Jeez, he's summoning all the Rangers. That's what, three groups now? Ooh. Okay. Little dissension there, Gowan really in there and I feel like there's some good uh character development going on. I get it. So Gowan really is just protecting humans and not really so much the kinkanoids because of how tough and durable and strong the kinkanoids are. That's some good storytelling right there, honestly. That is really good. Oh, 
<laughs> might be human. <laughs> Half. Ooh, is he gonna... Is he gonna transform? Dark change? Oh, he sh freaking shoots it right into his freaking farm? That is awesome. I like that suit design. That purple and red? Mmm, the black and white and the cape. A little scarf cape. Ooh. I really like this fight sequence. This is really good. Especially because they just used the Gal Ranger power up, so now it's like beast versus beast, as they said. Really enjoying that. Oh, they cleared out one uh, imposter team. What is that? Is that a little football they're tossing around? Hey. He about to punt it, and they have one too. I'm, I was out seeing the older Sentai season, so I'm just like, I have no idea. Interesting. And it became an eraser and just popped them all in the head and erased them. Oh, what is what is Stacy doing? Oh, is he summoning old school like Megazords? That is awesome. Gal Ranger. Magic. Oh, it's the Zords for the four Zords for each one of the ones that the Zenkaiser are based off of. That is actually awesome. So, Chan basically narrating is really helping me like learn the Japanese Super Sentai terminology and names for everything. And that is very helpful for someone who has not watched Super Sentai. Oh, I love these camera effects where they do the camera low and pan it around. And the sa I'm a sucker for camera work. Wait, why, don't, why, why is that a big Gertlinger? What? A Gertlinger bazooka? Ah, the finisher bazooka. Wow. That was actually pretty cool. Uh-oh. What's Stacy doing now? How is he... Four... Five more? Jeez. Wait. Eight. Wait, five. Twelve more <laughs> swords. Oh my god. This is awesome. What? You're just going to end episodes right there? Wow. Okay. I guess we got to jump right into episode 8 then. Because. Yeah. That. Uh, this is. This is the type of episode I needed. This is the type of episode I've been waiting for. Like, you know, we have Tendalian Evil. Like, I'm going to use some American Power Ranger terminology because I'm not familiar with the terminology used in. 
Super Sentai. So that's why I'm doing this. It's I know there's a divide and a big oomph between those two fandoms. But the fact that we got the Evil Ranger, a lot of Zord fighting, good story, good dialogue, more depth into Gaon's character and Zurin, like trying to question like, why he is the way he is. Then we got, you know, Kato with still trying to find his parents. Then we interject Stacy, who's claiming he's half human, but we don't know what's going on. Ijirud is basically, you know, basically saying he's a test subject for Stacy is a test subject for this. And he created that, the, you know, other Geertlinger and the, the Sentai Gears, which summon them as a team to fight, not just give them a power up and a lot of action. But still enough dialogue in between to like continue the story. It's not just action to be action. This is the type of episode I needed. Like, yeah, we're seven episodes in. I mean, the season, it's still early the season, you know? Like, I'm, you know, episode nine is the last aired episode. So I'm two episodes behind. And the pacing is what's getting me now. This is the pacing I, you know, we're pushing the story along. And it's not like filler because, let's face it, the first one three to four episodes were kind of just building the team and setting the story of what's going on, what the gears are, what the Toji Tendo gear, Toji Tendo gears are, why they're there, what they're doing, the motivations of the villain. This and so like, that was the first like four episodes. And then, you know, five was kind of, you know, planting a little more seed of, you know, what's going on in the background, setting up the parents, like, you know, as a side story. Now it's like, here you go. Here's some action. Here's some good story. I really enjoyed this episode. This is probably my favorite episode so far. Uh, I still like episode two. Was my favorite for a while, but seven now is like, mm, that's the episode. This was a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to check out episode eight, which I'm actually going to be doing in the next video, which I'm going to be recording right after this one because I'm trying to record all my videos as much as possible while I have some free time and a day off. So with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see when more reactions to not just Zenkaiser, but trailer reactions, movie reviews, video game reviews, the podcast, my Toku hauls, like there's a lot of stuff. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can turn on notifications so you see when more stuff goes live. And let me know in the comments below what you think so far. What do you think of Stacy's design? The helmet is kind of in I don't fully love the helmet, but everything else, awesome. And, yeah, that's really it. So I thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video.